Hey guys, the takes V here once again, bringing y'all episode two of Aguanaba. So last time I was uh, in a borrow and I came out here to forge for some ingredients off camera, and I ran into these two pricks. I don't know who they are. I don't know what they want, but all I know is I am a Aguanaba. Oh, hunters, you stand no chance. You stand absolutely no chance. Oh! Except for when you shoot me like that, just don't do that again. And what I said would be true. And that's all that matters. Okay, we got level two. Yeah. Ow! Alright, close distance. Nope, not healing. We need to do the opposite of healing. We need to deal as much damage as possible with our freaking fists. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Oh, bring it on. Bring it on, I just came out here for creep clusters. But now I'm gonna take everything from you. Your life. Your wife. Your family. Okay, probably not those other things, but mainly just your life, because I've got other things to do. Oh, but I will take all of this food. Oh, skull coat? I bet you that's really warm. I'm glad I came out here. Ooh, clams. Mmm, delicious. Alright, where's the other guy? Come on. I know. Ooh, more clams. Alright, um. Yeah, this. This time around playing Skyrim, I've really noticed the, uh, the value of food. And a glad man is always hungry. But yeah, uh, just for the backstory, I came here on that boat, held together with duct tape and prayers, and, uh, set forth to start a new life. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, some thugs beat me up and left me out there. <laughs> I've made some enemies, and I will find who they were and take them out. But first, where the heck did this guy go? Hey, where's your dead friend? Oh, you're the dead friend. Perfect. I'll be taking your pelts. Oh, and all this stuff. Alright, let's give this uh, armor a look-see. Hmm, what am I wearing now? Chitin and just plain old fur. So the fur's 26. Nice, it's better. And it looks a lot warmer. Complete warmth and fair coverage. Heck yeah! We're ready now. Alright. We're back in the dungeon, right where we left off. So let's just be real sneaky. Take that gold, take in your poop bucket. Next time you're gonna have to poop on that shovel. Because I'm a guana man, the most devious character of them all. Oh, was that it? Did I come back here for a poop bucket? I uh, <laughs> okay. This place is cleared. Perfect. <laughs> uh, there's gotta be something valuable like these. Oh, garlic, yes. Delicious. Oh, I really need a torch. That's okay. I'll just spam my A button till I'm satisfied. Oh yeah, I want your baskets. What's in there? Leeks? Mmm, delicious. Ash yams. Great. Oh. And I think I need to change... Was Iguana Man an adept? Let's just say he was an adept. I don't even know. Alright. So now we just need to uh, hug that coastline, and oh, it's beautiful out here. Whoa! That water mod is crazy. Look at that. It's alive. It's all sorts of creepy crawlies in there. Iguana man will be staying out of it, just to stay dry. Oh, if we can, come on, don't fall in there. It's gonna be freezing. Ah, oh, there we go. Give me that. I'm gonna eat that. Hey there, little wiggly wiggly. You got a shiny belly. True or cute? Oh man, I remember those things being almost impossible to kill. I think Iguana Man's gonna stick to the clams. Haha, <laughs> simple prey. <laughs> Just rip open their mouths. Take their guts. Uh, so earlier I was testing ingredients by eating them, and I was munching on pearls. <laughs> I don't know if any of y'all have accidentally eaten a pearl. Well, you can't. I mean, it's gonna break your teeth into a million shards. But not Iguana Man. Look at that. Well, you can't see his teeth right now, but they are fierce. Alright, it looks like I believe we're back in the main town. Um, oh, how I've missed you, stars. Don't worry. One day there will be a constellation that takes the form of Hegelada, man. It'll be pretty terrifying. Every time you see it, bad things will happen. Yep. You'll forget to turn the oven off, and the stove, and the gas. And you'll have a propane take sitting there. 
and your kid's asleep on top of the stove. You're kicking your kid. And that's it. <laughs> okay, um, is there an inn here? I'd like to catch a few Zs before going on the long trek about Ooh, abandoned building. Before getting on a boat back to Skyrim. I mean, who knows how long I'm going to be back in there. Are you still open? It's like 742! Actually, that's a lot earlier than what I thought it was. Um, how much money do I have? Take a look. I will. With my eyeballs. You know, I'm just going to pick up some salt. And I only have 200 gold. I don't know how much the fare is back to Skyrim, or if there even is a fare. I should probably check that before doing anything. La 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 Whee! Hey, are you the guys who beat me up? Hey? Hey? <laughs> oh, we're just nonchalantly hammering this post here. <laughs> just gotta, gotta hit it a bunch of times and this barrel really needs a whacking. <laughs> yep, look busy, guys. Um, okay. I don't know where the captain is, so we might have... Oh, is that the captain? Taking passage to Windhelm? Yes. I'd like passage back. Coin I journey? don't know how much does it cost, Kajalund. 250 gold? It yourself. What? What do I have? 220, okay. Well, looks like we're just going to have to hope and pray that I have enough gold to wait the night uh, at an inn and then enough loot and stuff to, um, to sell. Where is the inn? Alright, well, oh yes. The beautiful northern lights of Source theme. Wow. Those are really cool. But anyways, I found the Wretching Netch after spending a lot of time in the bitter cold harvesting some ingredients. So let's see about a bed. I need a warm bed. Hey, Slitter. That's an oh, ominous sounding mobile. name. You got a problem, you talk to him. I d do have a problem, but probably not regarding him. Gotta get some revenge. Teldrin Serro, blade for hire. If you have the coin, I'm at your service. Who said that you could wear my helmet? Huh? Yeah. You didn't think I'd come looking for you, did you? Well, I'm here. Cotton Cat, I'm not going to be hanging out Welcome with him. Welcome to the Wretching Nets Corner Club, me lord. Oh, thank you. If you need anything, Master Geldis will be happy to help you. I appreciate it. I don't care if you still have friends at the East Empire Company or not. Hello? Hello, I'm, I'm new here. I, I, don't, I don't really know how this land works. Um, do, are you the... Yeah, Geldis, there he is. Welcome to the Wretching Nets Corner Club. Home of a finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. That's awesome, but I just need to slam my head into a pillow and scream sure into it for hours. It's yours for a day. Perfect. Okay. I'll show you to your room. Well, right I hope that our adventures actually take us back to this place, because Soul's theme, I mean. It's pretty awesome. Oh, are you talking to me? Sorry, dude. I was talking to myself. I do that a lot. Don't don't mind Iguana, man. It gets lonely out here, you know. <gasps> on this remote... Who said that? I'll keep you company. Mary? Oh, look at those beautiful demonic eyes. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I'm not looking for a handout. Just something else regarding... <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going there. <laughs> um, thanks, Gildas. Appreciate it. Uh, can I help myself to all the food in this room? Because that's what I'm going to do anyway. Get out! I'm getting naked, dude. See? Get out. It's really going to happen. I'll just close that behind you. There we go. Okay. Let's just take all of his stuff. Because he had an attitude. And it was a good one. And then as long as people have any kind of attitude, I'm going to make them pay. Shh. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was coming back. Like, oh, we're going to give you a complimentary brew on the house. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Reading reclamations. It's free to read, isn't it? Yes. It's about the Dunmer. Oh, yes. I just read that whole thing. I swear to you. Prove it. Prove that I didn't. What's in these baskets? Moon sugar? This is my kind of place. Yeah, this one too. I'm a junkie. Ah. Ah. Gotta get my fix. Ah. And what is this? 
bowl full of what? Mm, green eggs. But no ham. What's up with that? Ah. Um, oh, I feel good. I just feel fantastic. I slept very well. Mm, quite a beautiful... What the hell is this? No, Mirak, I'm getting the hell out of here. What is that? <laughs> I was in the inn. I didn't move. Oh, I'm not ready for Mirak. I toil for no man or god or wiggly weird creature. I'm going to eat that Nern root. I'm just going to freaking shove it into my mouth. Chop it down. Okay, we got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> this is not conducive to lizard people. Why is it the way that it is? I stole so much shit out of that inn. <laughs> uh, left quite a miss. That's what you get for uh, offering hospitality to Iguana Man. All he wants to do is use and abuse people. Keep that in mind. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. No, I just want you to buy all my crap. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That nope. foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. Dude. Yeah, pickaxe, you can get those anywhere. No, 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 this isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. Ooh. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Alright, that will be the last time you insult my intelligence. One more time and you're dead, Glover. You understand me? Mr. Mallory? Get the guard to help uh, you, I'm not doing right. this. You, you well, just you shut up about your stupid pickaxe. To to Buy all my crap. Or deal some damage. Alright, I've had enough of you. Thanks for the gold, noob. I'm gonna go see what's upstairs. You just hang out there. You can trust me. Because you confided. <gasps> Apple pee! Really, dude? <laughs> really protective about the apple pie? How come you weren't this protective about your uh, pickaxe, huh? Maybe then it wouldn't be gone! Oh, <sighs> well, I'll be back for you. When you're asleep. Could be years from now. Could be when I'm level freaking 40. Doesn't matter. Hey. I'll remember this moment, Glover. You should have let that apple pie go. Find my pickaxe yet? Oh, you son of a... <laughs> Who does he think I am? <laughs> uh, you know what? Maybe we should level up. Maybe then he wouldn't be so uh, quick to disregard us. We're going straight stamina. Nothing else ever. Alright. Start jumping into sneak. What's demolition job? Oh, destruction? Not for Iguana Man. Y'all are gonna have to go uh, watch He Who Has No Name. Who Iguana Man has never heard of and probably never will. Because he's got bigger things on his plate. And priorities. Like murder. Destruction. Not, not the spells. Just the, you know... Just the meaning of the word destruction. Screwing stuff up and whatnot. Okay, where's your captain? I'm ready. I got the gold. Passage yes, you've been working on this post all night. Looks fantastic. My ship's ready to sail. If you brought enough gold. I did. Right. I'm just gonna be squeaking by once I get back Let's to Skyrim, but that's okay. I've got some good armor. We're ready. Alright. Looks like we made it without a hitch. And the post still looks incredible. Really fine work, but that that barrel on the other hand. <laughs> Just awful. <laughs> Alright, gotta be careful not to jump into the water. Oh, some very nice steps. Alright, hey, and wouldn't this just be the city I need to be in right now? I believe this is the one where a demented little boy is looking for someone just like me. Whoop! Yeah! Don't you ever disrespect my authority. Oh man, I can't wait to get into this Dark Brotherhood. I'm just gonna murder everybody. Just because it's the right thing to do when you're a guana man. Um. Ah, ooh. Yes. <laughs> the cabbage is valuable. Ah. Uh, what a freaking terrible place. <laughs> if I was a kid here. Left to my own devices, I too would be trying to summon dark spirits to murder people. But, um... Let me just make sure that we are in the right place, actually. It looks terrible enough. 
we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. She's a spy. Imperial I saw her do it. I saw her do it. And now I leave. <laughs> Alright, if I remember correctly, I gotta mosey on over then here. It's true. Aventus Artino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Isn't that Aventus right there? <laughs> ah, have you heard the rumor about me? Is it true that a Guano Man is back and angrier than ever? It is. Fine, then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock Who is this? Grimvar Cruel Seal. Oh, oh, wrong kid. That house, they are cursed. Then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right, I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. Deventus Oratino walks a dark path. And his actions. <laughs> Imagine having that reputation at like age seven now, or whatever these enough. kids are. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. <gasps> what? You have a friend? All the Argonians at the docks are nice to me. Good thing too. Her father would run them off. What does that mean? Who's your father? Cruel C. I'll remember that last name. You started off so promising. We are nice folk. When you get to know us, God, the freaking hell, man. <laughs> I'm just saying I would make fun of me, too. Oh, since apparently I'm off with this. Give it a little wiggle. There we go. Perfect. That was actually really easy. <laughs> Novice lock. Soon I'll be uh, cracking the masters. Why must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Yes. You and I could be pals, little buddy. Oh, you old crone. You'll get what you deserve. The Dark Brotherhood will see to that. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child you keep unto me, for the sins of the where do you, unworthy Where do you keep all your valuables? I'm just a voice in your head. Don't actually turn around. Oh, yeah, what's in that? Yeah, Greylaw, die. Yeah, keep going. Ooh. Sweet mother, sweet mother, I spy with my beady little eyes some wine. It's mine now. Man, has this kid been just chugging wine? Right on, dude. <laughs> what, end table? Oh, cast iron pot, wow! <laughs> That's mine forever. Okay. Please, how long? La 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 la. Nobody cares about your problems. Wait, I've been. I, oh, I could just take all this stuff? Oh. Wow, how many people or remains has this kid dug up? I wonder if this is even leveling up my snake. You never know. These kind of things. There it is. That's what I want. Leg of goat. Nummy, nummy in my tummy. Alright, weirdo, I'm here. What's up? What are you doing? I'm here. Yeah, I'm just a lizard, man. I'm I'm not whatever you think this is doing. It worked! I knew you'd come. I just knew it! Did you summon Iguana Man? Oh, the Black Sacrament. Yes, that is the Iguana Man Sacrament. And then you came. An assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. Yep. That's who I am. Tell everybody you know. Um, <laughs> yes, of course. All of this sounds correct. <laughs> it took so long. So very long. But now that you're here, you can accept my contract. Uh, yes. My mother, she... She died. I... I'm all alone now. Well, you have but good company. Look, you got little, little funny skeleton man. Hall. And his funny hey, little entrails. Evil, See? Woman. It's all okay, Aventus. the kind. But she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grelod the Kind. <laughs> I will definitely do that. <laughs> I just want you to know, rest your little head. But I just need to take this book and I will be reading that later. And I'm taking your entrails from you. Because I need them for sacrament stuff and things. Yeah. Alright. Well, let's go murder this kind old lady. Iguana man. Iguana man. Oh my god. I didn't know that she was in Riften. Well. Huh. 
I think I might have to pick me up a follower for that journey. And to do that, I'll take a stable or a uh, carriage to Whiterun and go visit the stables. Because I hear that there's a pretty good follower over there. But that's for next time. If you liked the video, please like it. Leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. DTEXV, signing out.